Defense Updates has reached more than 150,000 subscribers. We're genuinely thankful to our viewers. You keep us going. We don't dilute your video watching experience in this channel with sponsored products. If you like what we're doing, kindly support us on Patreon. www.patreon.com slash defense updates. India tested Agni-5, long-range ballistic missile capable of carrying nuclear weapons on January 18, 2018, paving the way for membership to a small list of countries with access to intercontinental missiles and putting most of China in its reach. This is the fifth test of the strategic missile. Agni-5 was launched from Abdul Kalam Island off Odisha State in eastern India in the morning, traveling for around 19 minutes and 3,000 miles. In a statement, the Indian Ministry of Defense said that all objectives of the mission had been successfully met. The missile will be included in the India's Strategic Forces Command SFC, in coming days. Strategic Forces Command is responsible for initiating the process of delivering nuclear weapons and warheads in the event of war. The SFC currently has Prithvi, Danush, Agni-1, Agni-2, and Agni-3 missiles under its purview. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes the capabilities of Agni-5 and examines why China considers it as a direct threat. Number 5 Agni-5's actual range is classified. Though the reported range of Agni-5 is 5,000 km, it's widely believed that Agni-5 has a range of more than 8,000 km. Chinese experts have claimed after the first test in 2012 that the missile has the potential to reach targets 8,000 kilometers away. India will continue to keep ambiguity over the range of the missile, probably to address the Western audience who may feel uncomfortable with India's ability to reach their shores. Even with stated range of 5,000 kilometers, Agni-5 can hit most parts of China, including Beijing. Number 4 The Agni-5 is a three-stage solid-fueled missile with composite motor casing in the second and third stage. In many aspects, the Agni-5 carries forward the Agni-3 pedigree. With composites used extensively to reduce weight and a third stage added on, the Agni-5 can fly significantly more than its predecessors. The Agni-5 is specially tailored for road mobility and is canisterized as well. The missile utilizes a canister and will be launched from it. Made of marriaging steel, the canister provide a hermetically sealed atmosphere that preserves the missile for years. Since the missile is ejected using gas generated from the canister, the missile could be launched from any pre-surveyed launch location without the need for any pre-built launch site. The launcher, which is known as the Transport Coom Tilting Vehicle 5, is a 140-ton, 30-meter, 7-axle trailer pulled by a 3-axle Volvo truck. The canister design reduces the reaction time drastically, just a few minutes from stop to launch, and makes it very hard to take out with a preempted strike. Number 3 Agni-5 has a speed of Mach 24 and accuracy of less than 10 meters. It has multiple simultaneous guidance systems like ring laser gyroscope and inertial navigation system optionally augmented by GPS and Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System IRNSS. Terminal guidance possibly has radar scene correlation. The multiple guidance system make it very hard to jam. The missile is India's most advanced in its Agni series missile. The name means fire in Hindi. It's capable of delivering a payload of 1.5 tons, enough to carry a fusion-assisted fizzle nuclear warhead. Though exact details are classified, it's also widely speculated that Agni-5 feature multiple independently re-entry vehicle MIRVs. MIRV is critical because of the following. 1. Each missile can carry two to six separate nuclear warheads. 2. Each warhead can be assigned to a different target. 3. MIRV-capable missile are much harder to intercept when compared to normal missiles since they saturate the anti-ballistic missile defense system with n number of warheads simultaneously. 4. MIRVs ensure a credible second strike capability even with few missiles. Number 2 
The test comes months after a military standoff between India and China over the 34-square-mile Dakhlam Plateau, a Himalayan pass between China and Bhutan that India perceives as a strategic buffer. The rivals fought a war in 1962 over disputed borders which have never been formally resolved. The rise of China and its increasingly assertive behavior have made not only India but other Asian nations to rethink strategic dynamics. India conducted joint military exercises with Japan recently in the Indian Ocean, a key area where China is attempting to exert greater economic influence as well as flex its muscles as a regional naval power. India, Japan, and the US are also participating in annual Malabar naval exercise with an aim to bolster defense coordination with an eye on China. Number 1 Agni-5 is India's powerful deterrence against any Chinese aggression. This is one leg of India's nuclear triad, with the others being nuclear-capable jet aircraft like Sukhoi-30 MKI and nuclear-powered nuclear missile-carrying submarine like INS in a Hant nuclear triad, is the ability to launch nukes from land, air, and sea. A Chinese missile expert warned that India's latest test of Agni-5 intercontinental ballistic missile poses a direct threat to Chinese security. The statement was published in China's Global Times, which is considered to be the government's mouthpiece. Earlier also, China has raised concerns about Agni-5. The concerns are legitimate as now India has the missile with capability to strike deep inside China, and this has stabilized the balance of power which was earlier heavily tilted towards China. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and Kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.